My trans sister-in-law called me transphobic for saying female trans athletes shouldn't compete in women's sports. So I exposed her to her MMA club. My sister-in-law came out as transgender two years ago and my wife and I had absolutely no problem accepting her sister. However, she does tend to make it her whole personality, which can get irritating at times. Whenever family events come around and there is someone new at the function, she makes sure to let them know that she's trans immediately. She also makes it a priority to send articles in the family group chat about transphobia in the world, and how we are not doing enough to stop transphobia in our communities. She also tests us in person on whether we have read her articles and done a full in-depth analysis of them to make sure we are seeing them. One time I messed up a statistic and said 20% of trans people face transphobia in their communities, and the actual number was 32%. For the next month I didn't hear the end about how I didn't care about the trans people that were suffering, and how I was transphobic. For context my sister-in-law was always very passionate as a young kid about martial arts, so six months after her transition, she decided to join an MMA club. From what I know she hasn't informed them about the fact that she is a trans female, and no one in the family has ever told the club, as it was an amateur fighting club, and we all supported her healthy outlet. One time though, she decided to sign up for a friendly tournament, and we all decided to go support her. In her first and second fights, she absolutely viciously destroyed the opponents with first round knockouts. After everyone congratulated her on her win, I pulled her aside from the family and told her that what she did was unfair, and that it was against the rules to not inform them about her medical condition. She started calling me transphobic, she said that I was just diminishing her accomplishments and that she won fair and square because she was a woman just like them. She started acting really cold to me over the next couple of weeks. After that day she started sending trans athletes accomplishments in the group chat, but I wasn't going to back down. I told her and everyone else that I thought it was unfair how those athletes had biochemical advantages in the sport, and that even though most sports are anti-doping, the trans athletes were all on some form of steroids. This my wife and I to have slight disagreements because she had asked me to be more sensitive around her sister. The holidays were coming, so we decided to host Christmas and New Year this is when the incident happened. At the start of the function my sister-in-law was doing the usual and talking to people about the articles that she had sent to everyone, and things up until then were very chill. But then when we were all at the dinner table she brought up the topic of Leah Thomas, she said that she was a revolutionary, but I quickly countered with the fact that he was just lazy and a cheater. He wasn't good enough to become a top-level pro swimmer in the men's competitive division so he just turned into a woman and became the best in the world. I told her that if that wasn't cheating or unfair, then I don't know what is. She started to make a huge scene at the table and it started with her yelling and cursing me. And then she got mad at everyone else for not defending trans rights. And then it escalated to her throwing food and silverware everywhere. That's when I told her to leave the family function or else I would be calling the cops. After some more cursing, she left. Our family is somewhat split on the situation. My wife and a couple of other people are saying that what I did was wrong and that even though I knew what was going to happen, I did it anyway. I countered by saying that I wasn't going to give up my morals and values just to comfort her, and it was unfair for her to force us to comply with her ideology without any fight back. My sister-in-law wrote a long message in the group chat about how bad of a person I was and said that she was going to no contact with me. She also said that if my wife doesn't divorce me then she will go no contact with her and this has been incredibly tough for my wife because of course she is going to stand behind me. However, she also loves her sister. So what I did next definitely surprised her. I decided based on our earlier conversation about her tournaments, that the only real way to get revenge on her for her actions was to simply tell the truth. Two weeks after the holidays her gym reopened. I could tell by her face she was surprised to see me, and even more surprised when I showed full proof and identification that she was a biological male who was competing in the women's decision. She started crying and screaming at me, but in the end, it was useless. Her trainer had told her that he was going to personally make her banned from all tournaments in the state and that she should never come back to this gym again. A lot of her peers gave her a really ugly look as well, and she just left the place crying. I apologized to the person who ran the gym for the inconvenience and left the place. I knew that she was going to be mad but my phone had literally turned into a vibrator. I was getting tagged in all sorts of social media posts and getting messages in the group chat. I wasn't surprised that my sister-in-law had completely lied about the situation to everyone, including my wife. So when I got home it took a lot of explaining to my wife and I had to reach out to a lot of people individually to explain what happened. I know my sister-in-law wasn't expecting what was to come for her next. My trans sister-in-law called me transphobic for saying female trans athletes shouldn't compete in women's sports. So I exposed her to her MMA club. Part 2 after my sister-in-law and I got into an argument over whether trans male turned females should be able to compete in women's sports, she made a big scene at Christmas dinner about it, so I exposed her to her MMA club and got her kicked out. She tried to blast me on social media and messaged everyone in our family the false version of the story, including my wife. So when I got home I explained the full truth to my wife and other people in the family. To my surprise a lot of the family was in support of what I did, and they just didn't want to be the ones to offend my sill, and so because of that as a family, we decided to kick her out of the family group chat and everyone besides us was going low contact, however, I was going no contact and my wife said that she still loves her sister no matter what and will not limit contact with her. She said she would speak to her as much as her sister wished to speak to her. I fully support my wife, and even though I don't see eye to eye with her sister, I completely understand the importance of family. Update, my sister-in-law has decided to move to another state because she despises us and can't stand our transphobia so I won't be seeing her much anymore.